Hi everyone, welcome to the video tutorial on how to create an API with the type dashboard. So first you have to log into your type dashboard and select APIs from the system management section. Go to the top right hand corner and click on add new API. From here you'll be able to set up the base configuration for your API, like your API name, um, category, API slug, which is automatically derived from your API name. So let's just go ahead and fill those. For this demo, let's use pet store. Let's put in a category as demo. So the API slug is automatically filled in from the API name. And this is essentially a URL friendly representation of the API name that we've filled in. So we scroll down here, you can see the target URL in the target section. Because we want to use the Swagger pet store for this demo, we need to put that URL in here. So let's go to Swagger pet store and copy the URL. And just paste it in here. There are a whole bunch of other options here as well on the dashboard. Now let's go to authentication. This is basically the security method to use with your API. If you want to provide basic security, just put in the auth token, just select a dot token, which is the simplest security me mechanism to use. For this demo, let's just select open or keyless. What this will essentially do is that the gateway will not check for any form of authentication before it accepts a request. Now let's go ahead and save this. Once saved, you will be taken back to the API list where the new API will be displayed. To see the URL given to your API, just select the API from the list. Once you open it, the API will be displayed on top. You can also see the API ID. Let's now go ahead and copy this to our clipboard and open Postman. Let's paste the URL for our API into Postman and try, try to send a request and see what we find. What you'll see is that we can't really access the root of the pet store API because there is no response provided from that path. So what we need to do is to check which endpoints are available. Let's go back to the pet store swagger website. So we see that there's a pet endpoint and if we see set an ID to it, we should get a pet back. So let's go ahead and try that. I'm just going to try pet four with the ID four and let's see what we get. Awesome, now we've got some JSON data here with the name Nugget and there is the animal, which is the cat. Now you can actually verify this data by going back to the pet store website. So just select that. And you'll get the same data. So what we essentially see in this demo is that we've added the API definition type and we've been able to send the request and receive a response. Thank you for watching.